Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video and in today's video everyone We're going to be going over the mission pass missions that we currently have going on as well as the events that were started with the Most recent update which featured the Kano narrative dungeon and then last here We'll also be going over the two moot events that are currently going on on the Destiny Child page So let's get started here with the mission pass missions and then we'll move on to the events first up here everyone we have the Child's Limited Time Missions Kano episode. So as you have seen before with the previous Childs that were introduced to the game, you can purchase these packages here for $43.99 USD and you'll receive the rewards listed on the left side here. So the first one, we have a 5 star ticket, blood gems, and a 5 star napping place. And as you go down here, as you can see, you'll receive a 5 star copy of Kano if you purchase the second mission and so on. The next set of missions we have here everyone are the Summer limited time missions now these are more of a unique type of mission pass missions as we haven't seen a set of missions like this before so all you have to do for these set of missions are as you can see perform summer 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 10 times summon five times so if you do five multi summons in the summons tab you'll receive the child spa costumes here as you can see you'll receive a hot spring costume of an emone you'll receive an isolate hot spring costume you'll also receive a hot spring mona spa costume and a bikini lisa hot spring costume and then if you do perform 10 multi summons you'll actually receive their special costumes here as you can see an emone we have isolate here from her ragna break we have the hot pink mona from the devil pass and we also have the wetsuit lisa so honestly if you guys are looking forward to summon for these childs this would be a great mission pass mission to look forward to as you do receive their costumes for free as well as their hot spring costumes just for summoning on the banner next up everyone we have the land phase limited time missions here so as you guys have seen before all you have to do for these sets of missions is to log in one times total and you can purchase the first one here for 899 usd and you'll receive the cinema of stamina here listed on the left hand side and then of course and so on if you do spend stamina up to a total of i believe 12,500 stamina as you can see here you'll be able to purchase all of the other packages so these packages are great if you guys do need stamina for the current narrative dungeon so look forward to purchasing these if you do need to next up we have the mona's limited time missions here you guys have seen this one before as well as you can see the package is listed for four dollars and 49 cents usd so this package aims to help you in the leveling up your units as you can see you'll receive a ton of five star enhancement summon tickets to level up your child next up here we have lisa's limited time missions so we have actually seen this one before as well so all you have to do for these sets of missions are clear set amount of story chapter 2 missions so if you clear a total of 400 story chapter 2 missions and the best time to do this would obviously be hot time so on the weekend and today's actually friday so hot time will begin later on so make sure to try and clear some story chapter 2 missions while leveling up your childs you'll actually be able to receive some of these rewards here which consists of suspicious ore and then we have some crafting tools here for your equip enhancements last but not least here everyone we have the davi's limited time missions kano episode so all you have to do for these sets of missions are to level up demon princess kano to level 50 or either 60 if you do evolve her to six star and you'll receive the rewards here on the left hand side so if you do level her up to six you'll receive a five star evolution slime alongside four four star napping places and then for missions one through five if you level her up to level 50 you'll receive a certain amount of crystals per mission and you'll also receive some three star regular napping places for missions two through five all right everyone to start out here for the events we have mona's emergency support so all you have to do for the mona's emergency support is to log into the game daily and all you have to do would be to claim the said reward here on the said day so if you had logged in today you could claim the day two reward here and you'll receive a three to five ten times summon ticket we have some armor crafting tools and some suspicious ores so it'll go on for eight days total and you have 26 days to complete the mona's emergency support so you do have a lot of time to log in and claim these rewards but you might as well just start out now 
and click the claim button every day at reset. So the most important rewards here would obviously be the crafting tools and of course we have the suspicious ores. We have a ton of onyx here. We have some five star galaxy napping places and we also have the new soul card that's rewarded with this Mona's emergency support as well. And then if you clear all eight days, you'll actually receive the prison version of Resentment and Karma and we have 1000 crystals as well. Next up everyone, we have the Summer Paradise here. So all you have to do for the Summer Paradise is make sure to clear the missions listed here below. So we have used 300 stamina twice. We have cleared the underground ninth stage one time. We have the play rebirth library five times. And then we have joined Devil Rumble three times for four times total. So once you guys do complete these missions daily, you'll receive dice to roll on the board and you'll receive rewards for crossing upon tiles here. And then upon completing a path here, you'll receive the said reward here on the notice. So for the first lap, we have a 35 summon ticket, which is a water type ticket. That will go on for the third lap, fifth lap, and seventh lap, as well as the ninth lap. And then we have 500,000 gold here on the second lap, as well as the fourth lap. And then for the sixth lap here, we have 1,000 crystals. The eighth lap here, we have 100,000 onyx. And the tenth lap here, most importantly, we have a five star summon ticket. And then after 11th laps total, you'll receive a three to five, 10 times summon ticket upon clearing more laps. Some of the rewards here listed on the board are actually very good. We have one blood gem here on the last tile. We have the accessory crafting tools, we have armor crafting tools and weapon crafting tools. We also have some suspicious ores, we have azure lanterns and viridian lanterns. We also have a ton of spot presents here on the board. We have bath towels, gold. We also have a 2019 child spa skin select box, which is actually pretty cool. So if you guys do manage to hit the one roll at the start, you'll receive this awesome reward here to start out the board. The next event we currently have going on everyone is a Summer Night's Tale, which is Kano's narrative dungeon. So all you have to do for the narrative dungeon is make sure to clear all of these normal and hard missions for the first time around, and you'll receive a bonus amount of pins, which is her narrative collection reward in order to roll the little narrative of collection five times here as well as the one times here as for the daily missions here you'll have to clear a narrative dungeon up to eight times total and you'll receive the bonus 4,000 here and you'll also receive 4,000 here three times for clearing the narrative dungeon one time two times and four times and then upon receiving the pin rewards which is her narrative collection item you'll be able to spin the board here as I said before and you'll receive numerous amount of rewards here in the rewards list and upon clearing the main reward which is always a blood gem you'll be able to move on to the next board so upon clearing seven boards you actually receive a free copy of five star demon princess Kano and a bunch of great rewards along the way we have a five star resentment and karma soul card out the prism version we also have a five star normal resentment and karma and then we have kano's equip set as well as some three to five ten times summon tickets and last but not least here everyone we currently have the devil pass going on so upon clearing your dailies you'll actually receive devil pass points that will go towards leveling up your devil pass tiers so upon completing the devil pass and getting to tier 30 you actually receive a five star summoning ticket as well as a five star soul card ticket and a ton of great rewards just for completing your dailies and collecting devil pass points all right everyone so those are currently all of the events and mission pass missions that are currently going on in game so really quick here we'll switch to the official destiny child moot page and see what's going on there all right everyone here we are on the destiny child moot page so the first event we have here is actually the stamina party so if we scroll down a bit as you can see here stamina will be provided daily during the event period event period will start august 6th throughout august 13th 2359 utc and then we have the event details here which features 100 stamina will be offered upon logging in every day can be checked in the mailbox so this is a cool little event to help everyone out with some stamina if you are low on some for the narrative dungeon 
Next up here everyone we have event, hot time weekend, story, and a narrative story dungeon 100% experience bonus. So if we scroll down a bit, as you can see event period, August 8th throughout August 9th, 2359 UTC. Event details, your child's gained 100% increased experience in story slash narrative dungeon. So a great way to level up your child's and complete some mission pass missions along the way. Alright everyone, so that'll be it for today's Destiny Child video. Feel free to let me know in the comments section below what you think about the current mission pass missions and events going on currently around Destiny Child. But before you go, make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and you're enjoying the Destiny Child content. With that being said everyone, I'll see you all in tomorrow's Destiny Child video. Thank you all so much for watching.